Good Monday evening. Hope you had a wonderful beginning to yet another week winding down 2019. Have you comforted someone lately or are you in need of it? Woo! Like I said, I've had a, a whirlwind of, I'll say, the last few weeks closing in in this year and even today and the promise in second corinthians i believe that first chapter said blessed be god who is the father of all mercies the god of all comfort who comforts us in all of our tribulations in all of our tests amen do i am i saying that right yeah so that we may be able to comfort others which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Pretty much, God fills us with his peace and his strength and his reassurance and he wants us to pass it on because a lot of people are suffering. And sometimes the comfort that the Lord wants us to pass on is silence. Just being there, but being strong and still in the presence of the Lord for someone else. Just your, just, right? Just you being planted there. In Job 21, Job was asking his three friends, look, you all, I just want you all to zip it shut. I want you all to just listen to me. And how many people know that sometimes that is just what is needed. It, it says in the first three verses that Job was like, hear diligently my speech and let this be your consolation. Suffer me that I may speak. And after that, I have spoken, okay, do whatever you want, but just hear me out. Yeah, a lot of people just want that. So, and I know it's hard when you're hearing like, oh my goodness, you want to respond and you want to retort and defend and protect and help. Mm. Let the Holy Spirit do that. Especially we who are maternal and paternal in nature. But the Lord, the Lord, let his Holy Spirit manifest and do the ministry and the work for someone else. Amen. And today is December 9th and we go to Proverbs 9. And we know that what is the main thing to have out here? The Lord will teach us when to say, when to speak, when to hush it up, when to pray, when to let things alone, when not to text, when to approach, when to give people time. Verse 10, chapter 9, the fear of the Lord, the respect, the reverence of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. He'll show us, he'll tell us. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. He will give that to us. And we know that there are benefits as a result of having that as the focal point. But verse six, it says, forsake the foolish. Let's not go into our own intellect and rationale and thinking, well, you know, I'm gonna do this. Uh-uh. When we... Let go of our ways, then we will live. And it says, and go in the way of understanding. And then, you know, like I said, the, the benefits, yeah, by me, the days shall be multiplied and the years shall be increased. But let's just make sure that we keep wisdom of the Lord in the forefront. I was in a situation <laughs> today, I took some of the little ones from my school to the Shishi Poo Poo place downtown. We saw the beautiful Christmas tree, in Millennium Park and all of Michigan Avenue at the lights and everything. And we went to this performance and we walked in a place and then they were about to sit the kids on a rug. And I was like, oh no, no, no. There are Cheez-Its. There are crumbs, uh, leftover food from, I guess, another school group. Uh, we need, you can give me a broom, I'll sweep it up, but no, we don't want our kids to sit there. And lo and behold, this was on the side of the 
the space, the auditorium. But then another group came in and then they gave them the plum seats in the front. And then there was an empty, you know, space next to them. Now I asked the usher why we were the first ones to come. Why can't we sit there? And after she was like, hmm, hmm. and I'm not going to even get into as far as the colors and the ethnic backgrounds. I'm not going to even get into that. But after some hemming and hawing, yeah, they moved our group to the front, right in front of the performance. What am I saying? I consulted with wisdom. I didn't get all loud and like, uh-uh, no, you're not going to do that. Uh-uh, no, call security. No, because foolishness, it says, uh, that's when someone is just being out of control. No, wisdom would tell you when to speak, when not to speak, to shut it up, but to then when to exert yourself and to be bold in the Lord. Hallelujah. And everyone had a good time. So let's listen to wisdom. Let's shut it up and God will lead. Have a great evening in the Lord. Enjoy.